OK, so what is the complex number plane? Well, to go through the complex number plane, we probably first need to just remember what is our Cartesian coordinates that we've practiced so far on plotting numbers. So remember, when we're so far, when we're dealing with a, uh, a plane, we had a x-axis and a y-axis. And then if we were going to plot a point on this x and y-axis, which we call a Cartesian coordinate, we had a set of points which we'd label x, comma, y. And obviously, if x was positive, we'd go to the right. x was negative, we'd go to the left. y was positive, we went up. y was negative, we went down. <coughs> and then we took those two values and wrote them as a point. So the complex number plane is a way for us to graph complex numbers. And you might say, well, how are you going to graph numbers that are going to be, you know, have an imaginary part? Well, what we do is we, also, we create two axes. We have our A axis and our BI axis. So our A axis represents our real number. And our BI is going to represent our imaginary. Okay, So that is going to be our real axis and our imaginary axis. So therefore, if I have a point right, that I'm going to have to be able to describe, that is going to be the form of our complex number. So it would be A plus BI. Now, just like our Cartesian coordinates, if A is negative, we're going to go to the left. And if A is positive, we go to the right. If BI is positive, we go up. And if BI is negative, we're going to go down. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a quick little overview of your complex plane. Thanks.